Welcome to the Story World channel. Enjoy your viewing experience. Mrs. Abigail firmly closed the door to the classroom, her resolute steps guiding her toward a singular figure, the pupil in question, Morgan. Once again, Morgan had chosen the path of neglect, leaving her homework undone. With a countenance that melted defiance and resolve, she fixed her gaze upon her teacher, fully prepared for the impending reprimand. Such instances of academic negligence had become an all-too-familiar tableau, leaving the instructors disheartened by the recurrent display of lackadaisical enthusiasm. In measured silence, Mrs. Abigail regarded her student, a tableau of contemplation. A conversation lingered on the precipice of commencement, yet hesitation held its sway. I shall strive for improvement, I pledge, Morgan ventured, her voice carrying a tone of assurance. My absence was justified. Engaged in rigorous swimming practice, the realm of academia remained elusive. While the temptation to engage in argumentation loomed, Mrs. Abigail opted for silence, her ear having previously captured tidings of Morgan's abandonment of more than just homework. The echoes of her sporting commitments resonated in the teacher's consciousness. Amidst this silent dialogue, Mrs. Abigail's intent was poised to divert into uncharted territories. A revelation loomed on the horizon, one that would evoke surprise in Morgan's eyes. Morgan, allow me to share an intimate facet of my life. Mrs. Abigail began, her words shrouded in a veil of soft-spokenness. A daughter of comparable age to yours, Holly, grapples with a lifelong disability. Her existence is a tapestry woven with remote connections and a dearth of companionship. Virtual bonds, though a semblance of solace, cannot supplant the authenticity of real-world relationships. A momentary pause allowed the revelation to unfurl its tendrils, and with renewed determination, Mrs. Abigail proffered an unexpected proposition, veering the conversation down an unexpected avenue. Morgan, she implored, would you consider gracing my daughter with your companionship for a solitary evening? A friend, even if for a fleeting moment, a gesture for which I am prepared to offer recompense, coupled with a gentle nudge toward great enhancements. Morgan's psyche stood at a crossroads, a juncture where bewilderment danced with temptation. An alternate teacher might have elicited scornful refusal perhaps even jests shared among cohorts. However, Mrs. Abigail's stature commanded reverence, and the allure of great augmentation proved a tantalizing proposition, veiled in the shimmering garment of intrigue. I believe I am equal to the task, Morgan responded, her words measured and cautious, encapsulating the uncharted territory ahead. I extend my gratitude, yet I must forewarn you, Mrs. Abigail began, her tone laced with a blend of appreciation and candor. My daughter possesses a temperament that can be rather challenging. This indeed held true. Holly's existence had been intricately woven with adversity from her very childhood. Confined to a wheelchair since her tender years, Holly bore the weight of physical limitation alongside an inner struggle with her appearance, which she deemed unattractive, the tendrils of worry wound tightly around her, etching shadows of doubt and self-consciousness upon her young heart. In the early chapters of her life, Holly found herself on the receiving end of hurt, the innocent cruelty of childhood sparing no respite. Her countenance diverged from the norm, setting her apart from her peers. The scars of those encounters were etched deep, compelling Holly to retreat within herself a sanctuary she crafted to shield against the world's unkind gaze. Embittered and scared, she veered away from communication, wrapping solitude around her like a protective cloak. Recognizing the urgency of change, Mrs. Abigail embarked on a transformative path for her daughter. Distance learning provided solace, a conduit for education that spared Holly from the harsh scrutiny of her peers. But even this endeavor fell short, and a desperate resolve took root within Mrs. Abigail. The willingness to invest in companionship, to temporarily mend the ache of solitude that gripped her daughter's heart. 
Morgan absorbed Mrs. Abigail's narrative with earnest attention, her commitment unwavering. The promise to stand by Holly's side resonated deeply within her, each word a testament to her compassion and resolve. A shared pact unfolded, their ingenuity birthing a plausible narrative. The tale would see Morgan appearing under the guise of an academic aide, a trusted presence in the teacher's abode. The ruse would send Mrs. Abigail on an unexpected errand, the pretense of which would cloak their true intentions, to lend Holly the warmth of companionship, even if for a fleeting moment. The stage was set, and as the sun dipped beyond the horizon, Morgan's footsteps echoed through the halls of Mrs. Abigail's residence. Holly's eyes met Morgan's with a blend of curiosity and skepticism. The contours of their plan held the promise of transformation, an opportunity to reshape Holly's world. Around the dinner table, a shared meal became the tapestry upon which connections were woven. Teacups clinked softly, their harmony juxtaposed against Holly's guarded silence. Prickly glances exchanged between the two revealed a fragile tapestry, threads of potential connection woven amidst the uncertainty. As the orchestrated narrative unfolded, Mrs. Abigail embarked on her fictitious errand, leaving the two young women in each other's company. But time, in its relentless stance, extended its embrace beyond anticipation. Hours elapsed before Mrs. Abigail returned, her heart brimming with both trepidation and hope. Upon her re-entry, an unexpected tableau unfolded. The room buzzed with an air of camaraderie, laughter having replaced the initial awkwardness. Holly's visage had undergone a metamorphosis. The clouds of bitterness had parted, revealing a radiant smile that danced in the glow of newfound happiness. Mrs. Abigail's eyes welled with tears, a chorus of emotions converging within her. The transformation before her eyes was as miraculous as it was heartwarming. Holly's hair cascaded in delicate curls, framing her countenance with elegance, and an artful touch of makeup accentuated her features, unveiling a version of herself hitherto unseen. Overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the moment, Mrs. Abigail felt a surge of joy swell within her. Her daughter's transformation, both outwardly and within, was a testament to the power of connection, compassion, and the ability to bridge the chasms of isolation. In that precious moment, as the three women shared smiles that resonated with the symphony of shared experiences, Mrs. Abigail's heart brimmed with gratitude for Morgan's willingness, for Holly's resilience, and for the transformative journey that had begun to unfold. Arriving fashionably late, Mrs. Abigail extended a heartfelt apology while producing a box of delectable chocolates from her bag, a token of appeasement and a harbinger of sweetness. The suggestion of tea hung in the air once more, met with enthusiastic nods from her daughter and her newfound friend, Morgan. The transformation in Holly's demeanor brought a twinkle to Mrs. Abigail's eyes, a glimmer of newfound warmth that emboldened her spirit. With a sense of delight, Mrs. Abigail darted into the kitchen, her hands deftly orchestrating the ballet of setting the table. Amidst the clatter of cutlery and crockery, her ears were attuned to the symphony of conversation emanating from the adjoining room. Yet, amidst the joy, a pang of empathy gripped her heart, a silent reminder of the trials Holly had weathered. As the dishes found their places, Mrs. Abigail's mind journeyed through the exchange unfolding before her. Holly's voice, once guarded, was now a tapestry of anecdotes, her words dancing on the airwaves as she shared tales of her cherished game. A promise to aid Morgan in the realm of computer science echoed with sincerity, the promise of camaraderie extended in a realm far removed from the confines of virtuality. Mrs. Abigail, a silent observer in her own home, was consumed by a whirlwind of emotions. Her heart swelled with pride and a hint of trepidation, knowing that the precipice of revelation lay ahead. As the realization of Holly's imagined friend loomed on the horizon, Mrs. Abigail's thoughts plunged into an abyss of contemplation. The specter of doubt whispered its cruel refrain. How would Holly react when the truth unveiled itself? 
when the ephemeral friend transformed into reality. An unspoken ache tugged at Mrs. Abigail's heartstrings, a reminder of the fragility of her daughter's newfound happiness. Yet, in the face of impending uncertainty, Mrs. Abigail found solace in her resolution to embrace the present. The ebb and flow of life's currents had brought forth this moment, a testament to the power of connection, and she clung to this truth with fervent determination. Life is a canvas, and this moment is but a stroke upon it, she whispered to herself, allowing her resolve to stand resolute. Holly's appearance, marked by the indelible imprint of her disability, had cast her adrift in a sea of isolation. While her intellect shone like a beacon, her unique visage and reliance on a wheelchair forged barriers that were difficult to breach. Yet, amidst these struggles, Holly's sanctuary lay within the realm of the virtual, where her appearance held no dominion and her spirit roamed free. Mrs. Abigail held an unwavering belief that real-world companionship held the power to shatter these walls, to reshape her daughter's temperament and unveil the beauty that lay beneath the surface. The vision of a transformed Holly, her heart unfurled and her soul unburdened, ignited a flame of hope that burned bright within Mrs. Abigail's chest. Observing the tableau of tea-sipping companionship, Mrs. Abigail's heart soared. Her plan was far from futile. It had sown the seeds of transformation, and the fruits of her endeavor were beginning to bloom before her very eyes. A sense of contentment washed over her, a gentle reminder that life's tapestry was woven with the threads of both struggle and triumph. Later, as the echoes of laughter continued to reverberate within the walls, Holly revealed the untold chapters of their journey. A curtain was lifted, and Morgan's first attempts at bonding were met with reticence. Sharp responses and an insistence on distance painted the initial strokes of their interaction. Yet, amidst the turmoil of emotions, Morgan's surprising admission cast a new light upon their exchange, an admission of envy, of admiration for Holly's resilience. In this moment of vulnerability, Morgan's words held the power to dismantle barriers, to traverse the realm of appearances and embrace the essence of connection. Holly, skeptical yet intrigued, listened as Morgan's words unfurled like petals, revealing a newfound perspective, the conviction that beauty transcended physicality, that the soul's luminosity could eclipse all. The revelation was met with surprise and a hint of disbelief. Holly's perceptions had been fundamentally challenged, her understanding of envy reshaped. It was a turning point, a watershed moment that shifted the trajectory of their companionship. As the warmth of the teacups lingered and the echoes of shared laughter resounded, Mrs. Abigail basked in the symphony of transformation. Her endeavor, fraught with uncertainties, had birthed an unexpected harmony. Holly's journey toward self-discovery had begun, and the power of friendship had unfurled its wings within the embrace of her home. The realm of altering an individual's inner world often seems impervious to change, an intricate labyrinth of thoughts and emotions that resist easy transformation. In the context of Morgan's perspective, Holly's life appeared to shimmer with a brilliance that evoked a mixture of admiration and envy. It wasn't merely academic prowess that kindled Morgan's admiration. It was the synergy of intellect, familial support, and a loving mother that seemed to envelop Holly's existence. Delicate as the subject was, Morgan's own family dynamic was unveiled, a tapestry woven with shadows. Though reticent, Morgan's trials spoke through the cracks, painting a portrait of her own struggles. Yet within this discourse, a gem of wisdom emerged. Morgan sought to convey to Holly that the constraints of disability need not eclipse the potential for achievement and joy. Morgan's words, tenderly crafted, wove a narrative of empowerment, casting light upon the possibilities that awaited Holly beyond the confines of her physical condition. The notion that a disabled individual could pursue meaningful careers, build families, and bask in the radiance of a fulfilling life was a beacon of hope. While Morgan couldn't bestow a panacea upon Holly's struggles, 
Her determination took a tangible form, a transformation of appearance. Morgan's sister, a purveyor of beauty secrets, shared her artistry, gifting Morgan the means to elevate Holly's sense of self. Akin to an artist wielding a brush, Morgan orchestrated a metamorphosis that culminated in a radiant smile upon Holly's countenance. The mirror reflected an external change that resonated inward, heralding the seeds of self-belief. Gratitude flowed from Mrs. Abigail's heart, an unspoken acknowledgement of Morgan's role in fostering a newfound sense of hope within her daughter. The boundless potential of transformation, both within and without, was a testament to the power of camaraderie and shared dreams. However, the following day unfurled an unexpected twist in their narrative. As Morgan stood at their doorstep once more, her purpose wasn't tethered to monetary compensation, but rather to the simple joy of friendship. This unanticipated display of benevolence underscored the depth of Morgan's commitment, her motivations extending beyond mere transactions. With an air of ease, Morgan ventured into Holly's room, carrying with her the gift of companionship. A bond forged through shared endeavors, the path of learning unfurled amidst the tapestry of their relationship. The exchange of knowledge and assistance breathed life into their interactions, transforming Morgan from a simple helper to a genuine friend. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the threads of connection continued to weave a tapestry of shared experiences. Morgan's presence became a fixture, a vibrant thread that enriched the fabric of Mrs. Abigail's home. The corridors echoed with laughter, lessons, and heartfelt conversations. In Morgan's frequent visits, Mrs. Abigail glimpsed the mosaic of her life, a life marked by hardship and resilience. Morgan's own narrative bore the weight of familial struggles, painted in hues of pain and adversity. Through the gentle dance of conversation, Mrs. Abigail began to understand the contours of Morgan's journey, her empathetic heart reaching out in silent solidarity. Morgan's steadfast presence became a balm for both mother and daughter. In the quiet moments, Mrs. Abigail reflected upon the intricate symphony that had emerged from her initial plea for companionship. The essence of transformation, once a mere seedling of hope, now flourished into a resplendent garden of connection and understanding. Amidst the backdrop of their evolving friendship, the tapestry of transformation continued to unfurl. Morgan, the catalyst for change, was herself undergoing a metamorphosis, one marked by the power of friendship, resilience, and an unyielding spirit. In the shadows of Morgan's upbringing, her older sister stood as a beacon of support, a steadfast presence who managed to extricate herself from the confines of their parental home. With a timely departure, she charted a course towards stability, carving a path to a promising career and extending her benevolent hand to her younger sibling. Morgan's familial landscape was barren of the nurturing touch of her parents. The echoes of neglect reverberated through her character, shaping a persona that bore the intricate layers of a complicated soul. Her actions and antics within the school's corridors were often desperate cries for attention, a bid to grasp a semblance of significance in a world that had seemingly forsaken her. In the company of peers, Morgan's demeanor transformed into a tapestry of brazen audacity, an armor to conceal her vulnerabilities. However, amid the bravado, a void lingered, a lack of academic guidance that left Morgan to navigate the educational labyrinth alone. As time unfurled its wings, Morgan's connection to education waned. The prospect of becoming a hairdresser, much like her sister, held a magnetic allure. In her perception, the realm of scissors and styling seemed devoid of the intricate school knowledge that had come to seem superfluous. Yet, within the serendipitous contours of fate, a chance encounter breathed new life into Morgan's aspirations. Holly, a figure so different from herself, emerged as a catalyst for change. The tendrils of curiosity reached out, and Morgan's interests expanded, nurturing an unexplored desire for a more profound professional journey. Computer science, 
a realm previously untouched by Morgan's curiosity, unveiled itself under Holly's guidance. In the glow of Holly's explanations and demonstrations, a new vista of possibilities materialized. Morgan's skepticism metamorphosed into intrigue, and the seed of passion for programming took root. The walls of their differences crumbled in the face of shared endeavors. Morgan's visits to Holly's abode became a ritual, with nights spent under the same roof. In their companionship, the blueprint of a shared dream began to unfold, an aspiration to venture into the realm of programming after graduation, a journey they would embark upon together. The pact they forged was more than a mere academic pursuit. It was a lifeline of mutual support. Through the corridors of college, Morgan and Holly envisioned a path of solidarity, a commitment to bolster each other through life's adversities. The teacher's unusual request, a plea for companionship, had woven the strands of their lives in an intricate pattern of friendship. Two disparate souls, each bearing their own scars of resentment and bitterness, found solace and strength in the other's company. The symphony of transformation resonated in their bond, a testament to the power of connection and the capacity for change. As the chapters of their story continued to unfurl, Morgan and Holly stood poised at the threshold of a shared destiny. The pages that lay ahead were inscribed with their aspirations, a testament to their shared determination to transcend circumstances and forge a path illuminated by the radiance of their newfound friendship.